going to be playing with products that I have recently reviewed and just kind of picking them up and playing with them again. I review so many products here on my channel and I wanted to do kind of a fun get ready with me but also using products that I've recently reviewed. I will be creating a video going through all of the products that I recently reviewed over the last two months in an upcoming video. I'm assuming it'll probably be probably this weekend so be on the look for that update video. I'm not telling you every product I'm using like some but not all but I will have it all in the description box down below so you guys can know what I'm applying on my face and on my eyes and all that stuff. We're just kind of kind of play around and chit chat. I didn't really know what to film today and I was like wait it's been a minute since I just got on camera and just like chit chatted and I'm very quirky today. I'm very sorry. I'm like I'm just in those moods. I can't help myself. Like sometimes I just get really ridiculous and today was one of those days. So I apologize far in advance that I'm very dorky throughout this video, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope, review, what the hell am I talking about? I have no idea. Her. Do you know what you're talking about? I don't think you do. So shut the hell up. Okay. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay. So I'm just going to start playing and talking and just getting ready, even though it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been so busy today. Like I've had all these appointments and ugh, it's been nuts. So I'm putting on the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Oh shit, no, I wanted to try a different primer. Hold on, taking this back off. Damn it, Tara Lynn, pull your shit together. So I have a couple of primers here. I wanna try the Ole Hendrickson. This is the uh, Banana Bright Face Primer. I've only been able to wear it like twice. And so far I like it. Like I like Ole Hendrickson's products though. So kind of is a yellow tone to it. Don't mind my fake tan. Just we're going to get it out of the way. I need to scrub it off tonight, but I haven't had time. Like my life is crazy town. Okay. So I'm going to blend that in. Yeah. So I'm teaching my daughter how to drive, which has been nerve wracking to say the least. I'm going to put on the um, found sealer because I really liked this one, but I got a darker shade and I maybe want to mix the two because I kind of feel like the shade was a little bit too light, but it was a deluxe size sample, so it wasn't like I could be like, I want that shade and I want that shade and don't work that way. So I don't even know what shade this is. It's rubbed off. Okay, so I'll put it at the bottom because I have no idea what the shade this is, but this one is 42 neutral. Put that primer on. I feel like it's set down. As you can see, that gave the skin a nice like hydrating glow which is good, but you guys know I like me my Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm almost out of this. I'm scraping it. I've got another bottle. Don't, don't stress because mama's got me covered, okay? I got me another one right here on backup. I like to scrape the bottle. This shit's expensive, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let a little drop of it go to waste even though it takes me an hour to put it on, but it's okay. So yeah, I'm teaching my daughter how to drive and she's done really good, but it still scares the shit out of me. Like I just go, Oh God. Okay. So sh okay. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. Cause she's like, don't freak me out. And my husband was horrible at it. Like we pretty much dumped him after the first day because he was making her a nervous wreck. He was like, you're going to hit that. Don't hit it. Stop slow down and she was just like you're barking at me and he's like I'm not barking I'm trying and so just didn't work very good <laughs> so I've been like okay you're yeah you're doing really good but you really need to slow down oh don't hit that deer you know what I mean like I'm trying to be like the calm <laughs> calming passenger but oh shit and then I took her into the city the other day oh my god I had to go to the bathroom so bad this is bad because I don't, I do not go to the bathroom at public places, especially at 7-Eleven, but I was dying. She had made me a nervous wreck. I was about ready to piss my pants. I had no choice. Okay. I am almost 40. My bladder is not what it was 10 years ago. I had no choice, no choice. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm admitting that on camera. Yes. I pissed in a 7-Eleven. Yes. Oh my gosh. It was like high school all over again. In my reviews, I don't get as dorky, but like just getting ready and just kind of chilling and I don't have to think I can just play. I just get super dorky and it just is what it is. When I'm reviewing, I take it very serious because in my opinion, when, when I'm telling you guys whether I like something or not, I take that so serious because every single dollar counts. And 
I am not going to tell you guys something's good and then regret it later. You know what I'm saying? So I take I take my reviews very serious. And so this is just like playtime for me. Okay, so now we're finally ready to apply the foundation and we're 10 minutes in. Hallelujah, this is gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna mix these two shades together. So I'm just gonna start applying this. Oh yeah, that's a hella good shade. Did you just see how that melted into the skin? Like foundation wear? Yes, that's what I like to see. Um, okay, so back to the driving. Yes, we drove in the city. Yes, we have been driving up and down the mountain, which the where where they have to go to school is like kind of straight up and then like down a windy mountain. And so she's gonna have to drive that every day to go to school. So we went up the divide the other day for the first time, which scared the hell out of me. I mean, I literally like, I think I had to pry my arm off of like the, the bar thing, the, what is that called? Like the, I don't know, we used to call it the shit handle, but I don't know what they're called. But you know the little handles that you're like, eh, you know, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so I held on to that for dear life, but she actually did so good. Like she's actually doing better than I thought she would and better than I did, I'll be honest. I'm gonna wipe the foundation out of my hair, but this looks freaking bomb, 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 bombity bomb. Oh my gosh, it's like uh, lava, it, like melts into the skin. Does foundation in your hair drive you crazy like it does me? Like it drives me nuts. I do not like foundation in my hair. I'm using just like a clean brush. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna put on a stick concealer and I went to go like this to shake it. <sighs> uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put some of this on my eyeball. I really like this concealer, I do, I like it. I never thought I would. I just never thought that I would ever like a stick concealer because never works for me, like ever. But this one, oh, she is good. All right, so I'm just blending this in with my digits, trying to get it nice and blended. But look how smooth that looks, you guys. I love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour because I'm gonna sit here and talk for another 10 minutes before I get anything done. But yeah, so, my kids are leaving me for spring break, which totally sucks because my daughter is going to California with her with her friend's dad. Her dad's her friend's dad lives in California. He's going to have like four teenage girls there at his house. Lord have mercy. He and his wife. And then my son, so she's leaving me for a week, which she's never left me ever. Ever. So that's kind of freaking me out. Like I'm kind of freaked out about it. And then my son, he is actually going to Southern Utah where he's gonna be going to college, go you know, hang out with his friends for the week. So it's just gonna be me and the hubs, but I am actually going to visit my family. Um, I haven't seen them for a long time, even though they only live three hours away. It's just hard, you guys, with kids in school and it's just hard to get away. And you know, my grandma, she was in the hospital. She had a hair, she had a, she didn't end up having a heart attack. They thought she had a heart attack, but she ended up having pneumonia. And so she was in there for like two days. She's home now, still raising hell as ever. Um, and so I'm going to go and just visit, you know? And so my family is leaving. Let's see. So my daughter is, so today's Tuesday. No, today's Monday. I don't know what day it is. Today's Monday. So my son and daughter are leaving Friday. And so I think I will leave like Saturday or Sunday, but I'm kind of worried about leaving my husband because this Sunday is his daughter's birthday, his daughter that passed away, my stepdaughter. And so I'm kind of worried about leaving him, but he insists, he was like, I'm fine, I promise. And I'm like, I don't know, like, I don't know that I want to do that. And he's just like, Tara, I promise you need to go be with your family. Like he doesn't know, he doesn't get to see his family very often because they live in Florida. And so, you know, he's like, Tara, like, you need to go. And I'm like, I know. He's like, you need to take a break and just go. <laughs> but I feel really bad about leaving him. I do. We normally, every year, we go to Florida. So my husband's family lives in Florida, like I just said. And every year, we'll go to Florida and, like, hang out with his family. And we'll stay at our beach condo in St. Augustine. And typically, we leave right after school gets out. We fly out Saturday of like Memorial Day weekend and then we're there until like June like 21st or 22nd. I don't know that we're gonna be able to go this year because my husband, he has th like two big projects he's trying to get finished and like he comes home sometimes at nine o'clock at night like he's so busy and 
he's like, Tara, I'm going to have two houses during the time. And he's like, I don't know if I can leave, you know, my employees to do it. So I don't know, you know, work comes first and typically we get to go every year, but there's years that we can't, we can't go and it's totally fine. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong because waking up for three weeks to be able to just walk to the beach every day is like a dream come true. But you know what? Sometimes that's not always what life's about. Like, you know, we'll have more time to go and you know, his work is more important. And so may or may not be able to go. We'll just have to see how it goes. But I can tell he's bummed because that's the only time he gets to visit with his family. And he does have a really good family. Like I love his family. Oh, I haven't used this on camera. I got this the other day, but I haven't used it on camera. This is the new like Morphe Glam Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. I got it in the shade Icon. Again, Jaclyn Hill said it was the best bronzer ever. <laughs> I'm using my E21. I haven't used this, or E41. I haven't used this brush in a minute. It's a nice bronzer. It's just a really light bronzer. Which I don't mind. I mean... So who would be interested in seeing me do the Scott Barnes Tati ch challenge? Like who would want to see that video? Like me trying to recreate the Scott Barnes look that he did on Tati. Does look pretty hard, doesn't it? Like if you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments down below because I will do it for you guys, but I'm not just going to like elect myself. Like I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to challenge myself to do this. <laughs> not going to happen. So let me know if you guys want to see that because I think it would be fun, but... Okay, I need to use my Natasha Denona blush palette. I haven't used that in a minute. Hold on. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Five minutes later. She's missing. Two thousand years later. There she is. For some reason, I think she's bigger than she is. And as all the blood rushes to my head, I have not used this palette in a minute. So I'm excited to pull it back out. I'm going to go into the Glow Cream Base, this one right here. And I'm taking my wispy little uh, dual fiber brush, the, fi fi the, 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 fi the 516 brush from Lexi. And I'm going to like place this on the high points of my cheekies. I love this palette. It's so freaking pretty. And I'm so excited to use it during the summer. Oh my gosh, seriously, on those like beautiful summery days where you want your skin to just be like, but my skin looks hella good with this foundation on right now. I'm so glad I got the right color. I think I'm going to buy a full bottle of it because this shit is pretty. All right, so I'm going to really like pack that on and just give me some nice glowy, glowiness to my skin. Yes. Yes, Natasha Denona, man. She is like a freaking genius when it comes to this. This palette was genius. All right, now I'm going to go into the really bright one that looks like it's really dark, but it's not. So again, I'm going to tap it off the back of my hand and then go in. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. I know it looks crazy right now, but now I'm going to wipe the brush off and then I'm just going to like start doing this this like dorky looking face, you know, that you just like feel like an asshole with. Okay. I got a little bit too carried away. I just got to tap her out. Tap, 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 tap. That's the thing about this. That's nice. Is that if you get carried away, it's a cream blush. So you can really pick it up quick and like go back in and kind of fix it. So tap it off and then start working it in. Don't get carried away. Like I did. Wipe the brush off good and then go in. And then I'm going to go into that Glow Duo, this beautiful peachy shade. I'm gonna put powder on, yes, I'm gonna do it before highlight because this powder is that forgiving. So I'm gonna put on my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish right here and calm down this shininess so everybody's not like, oh my God, you got a Crisco face. And I know. And I like my damn Crisco face. I don't like my brows right now, but I like my Crisco face. I wanna use my Morphe Setting Mist but I'll use my new one that I reviewed that I do like. <sighs> Except for the sprayer is so much like the Mac Fix Plus. Like I wonder if Mac got pissed about that. Do you think they did? I don't know, cause it's, it's a lot like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some of my liquid highlighter. I'm trying to think, did I review a new highlighter in the last couple weeks? Tara, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Two thousand years later. 
I knew I had a new highlighter, you guys. It's sitting right in front of me this entire time. I've been searching my videos. I did get a new highlighter. I'm a dumb ass, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna put this highlighter on. This is the new one from this. This is the new one from ABH. I'm gonna put it over top. Oh, damn! For those of you guys that like the Artist Couture highlighters, I swear. Okay, I flubbed up. I put it all in one spot right here. I got buff, buff, buff. I got a buff and blend, buff and blend. Yeah, I might have gotten too carried away with the eyebrow highlighter. Yep, I did. Oh well, it's all good. It's just makeup, it washes off. Now we're four layers deep in highlighter and all of that jazz. I do need to put some eyebrow gel back on because my eyebrows look like they went through a windstorm. Hold on. Um, palette, I wish I could just like dial you up and be like, hey girls, what palette you want me to play with today? Because I don't know which ones y'all want me to do. Like I don't know which one to play with. Mm, let's see, let's go through my channel for a second. Okay, so while I was off camera, I realized that I didn't put my earrings on. I have been wanting to play with the Make It Reloaded palette again. Both of the looks that I created with this palette were really warm. So I kind of want to do like a cool tone, like smoky look. So maybe like using some of these tones here because I did use a lot of, like I looked back on the you know video, I both of the looks I did were really warm. So let's go in and kind of play around with some of the cooler tones. Like I'm wearing black, I'm in that like black, like smoky eye type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? We're zoomed in, let's get playing with this palette. Okay, so um, I wanna go in with Dreamweaver because I really think that shade's pretty, but I didn't love it in my review. Like that was the shade that I felt like was lacking in the palette. I wanna base my entire look on that shade and see if my opinion will change about it. So I'm gonna take my Builder Pro and go in with Dream Weaver. I'm gonna spray her down because, I mean, who wants black all over their face? It's like a black gray shade. It's freaking pretty though. So let's start putting that all over the eye. and see if I can have a better experience with that shade. Because I want that shade, like in my review, like I haven't watched the review, but I remember in the review that like, oh, fudge a rooney, I just got it all over me. That shade was so similar to Distilled. I was like, okay, what was the point of that? Like I kind of remember feeling like the shades were kind of super similar. So I'm gonna basically place this all over my lid. I'm just gonna start packing it. and try to just get her to be like the main focal point, you know? It's a really pretty like gunmetal shade. Now I'm gonna start kind of bringing that shade up into my crease a little bit. I am gonna go in with my finger and just kind of press it to really bring it to life because doing it with the brush is okay, but I don't feel like you get that real pretty color with a brush and so I really just made a mess under my eye. All right, we're gonna not worry about that for right now, okay? I'm gonna take my Crease Pro brush, this one right here. I'm gonna go into Bucked first and I'm gonna pop that in the crease. But I think I need it to be a little bit darker, maybe. Let's go into Boundaries, maybe Boundaries might be. Yes, boundaries was it. That's the shade. And so I'm just kind of like using that shade to like buff it into the crease. I'm gonna go into Dream Weaver and really deepen up the crease a little bit. <laughs> or maybe I should do End Game. That shade is hella freaking messy, you guys. I'm gonna go into End Game. End Game is like that really dark brown. And I'm gonna like really deepen up the inner crease. Yes, right there. Yes, okay, this is this is coming together. Okay, I'm gonna go back into boundaries and really bring it back. Yes, I like that so far, like hella pretty. Look how pretty that is. And it really wasn't that hard to create. I just don't recommend doing your concealer first because it's all over down here, see this? Yeah, I gotta fix all that jazz. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna wipe it off. 
Now I don't really like that sharp line, so I will be fixing that line. I do not like that sharp line. Now whenever I take off my concealer, I always recommend taking a damp beauty sponge and going over the edge so that when you go in with your concealer, it'll just kind of melt back in. It's the one thing that you gotta be careful with is, you know, going in and having this like sharp, heavy line between like your foundation and stuff like that. I do really like that concealer though. It is hella pretty. It's just soft and I love it. It like blurs out all of my driving with my daughter lines. <laughs> I hope she doesn't watch this video. She'll be so pissed. She'll be like, I'm a good driver. Why are you making me look bad? I am going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to go into Dreamweaver, but I'm going to wet this bitch down because I do not want it all over my face again. Like I applied it like halfway dry, halfway wet, and I don't really recommend it because it's messy. So if you don't have your face makeup on, you're good. Go in dry because I think it would be prettier dry. But if you already have your face makeup on, you need to go in wet. I am going to go into Bucked. Bring her around here. Oh, boundaries, I forgot. I'm like, wait, why is it not as warm on the top? Oh, see boundaries? There is something about that shade boundaries. I said it in my video. It is the best shade. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I like it as much as I do. I can't explain it, but it pulls all the shades. Like every time I use that shade boundaries, it like makes all the, it makes the shade I'm using that much better. Like you seen when I when I went in with Bucked, it was like, yeah, it's lackluster. But as soon as I went in with boundaries, it was like, la. It was amazing. I love that shade. It's seriously, in my opinion, I said it in my video and I stand by it. It's the best shade in the palette. I just don't even know if I want an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller lash eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and line right around my eyelashes just to make sure that my everything's like black you know what I mean damn I suck at eyeliner hence the reason I never do it Whew, okay you got you can't breathe when you're doing it and so I have to take a deep breath okay so I'm gonna use this new eyeliner that I got from dose of colors I have it in the shade black which is called caviar but whatever it's black so I'm gonna go ahead and go up on the upper waterline why does that tickle so bad <laughs> makes me want to sneeze okay but I am gonna put some brown on the lower lash line so this one is from Marc Jacobs and I'm gonna place this right here on my lower lash line oh Damn, that's a soft eyeliner. Why is the Marc Jacobs eyeliners so good? Like, they are so good. Okay, so as far as lippy, I'm struggling because I don't know, like, hmm. I'm gonna put on the KKW Beauty Nude Lip Liner number three. Oh, and for my lower lash line, if you guys have not heard me talk about this, I put on the Clinique lower or uh, bottom lash mascara. It's 12 bucks, you guys. It's the best lower lash mascara ever. You're welcome. It will change your life. Then I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. I was watching Desi Perkins' uh, new like her new makeup routine. She just uploaded it like two days ago and she did this like round circle and got rid of the Cupid's bow. And I was like, no, don't do it. She has the prettiest Cupid's bow. I'm like, no, I don't like this whole rounded, like that Cupid's bow is beautiful. Like don't get rid of it. It's that's what makes lips lips. Like no matter what your shape is, no matter how big or small your lips are, that Cupid's bow is everything. Don't get rid of it. I hope that that's not gonna be a new thing because that makes me sad. I'm gonna put on the Kim K, I think maybe. This is the, is it Kim K? Classic K from KKW Beauty. I have to watch a webinar tonight for my son's college. Um, he was accepted into a university and I gotta watch the webinar tonight and I'm like freaking out. I don't want my baby to go. Ooh. He's been sick all weekend and I've been like mothering him, like making him soup and giving him popsicles and oh my God, I was in heaven, you guys. I mean, I hated that he was sick, but I was in mom heaven, waiting hand and foot on my 17 year old son. Okay. 
that's what I needed. So I popped this shade on. This is the More Creamier Please from Dose of Colors and the Desi X Kitty Collection, the first collection. This has like a really good like beige undertone, which is what I needed to... I'm going to switch the whole lippy. Hold on. Taking it off. Just waiting on him. He even wrote on his Snapchat, well, what do I do without my mama? I'm like, ah! Oh. Love this kid. So I should tell you what I'm doing. So I'm taking the KKW Beauty nude number two. So the last one I put on was nude number three. And I felt like it was too dark, but also had like a purple undertone. And I don't want a purple undertone. So I'm going in with nude number two, which this is my favorite lip liner. Like I love nude number two. It is my favorite. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take the brush and blend that out. Whenever I'm trying to pick my lippy, I always wanna match this tone, this color right here, is what I try to do anyway. Then I'm gonna take more creamer, please, but I'm actually gonna apply this with the brush. So I'm just taking some on the brush, it's got a bunch of hair on it. And I like doing this dabbing. That's so much better. That matches so much better, doesn't yes. it? This is the final look, and I loved everything that I played with today. I think I'm gonna have to buy the full size of this because I really like the way this foundation looks. It looks really healthy and hydrated, and I really like the way that foundation looks. And yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope that I was not super annoying. I'm sure I am. I mean, I'm gonna have to go through some of the footage and probably cut out some of my quirkiness because I think I got a little bit too carried away in this video, but if you guys made it through the entire video, thank you for putting up with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel. It truly, when I say it means everything to me, I can't even tell you how much it means to me. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. and I love you all so much. Bye. I look like I'm like, ate a lemon. <laughs> Whatever. I'm over it. Okay. We're done. Shut it down. Sh shut it down. Ow, that earring's too tight. Damn, that kind of hurts. Ow. Ooh, it hurts.